It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about Outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. Good morning and welcome aboard. Catboy, you've been super busy. <laughs> Freshwater fishing and saltwater Fashion. fishing. And you've actually got a first-hand report from Lake Sem Seminole this time, don't you? The, from experience. From experience. Uh, the <laughs> brim or bedding. Jody Wells called me a few days ago and he said, Captain Roy, come over here and I'm going to put you on a brim bed, you and Kenny Ray. And he said I, he still wants to take Cheryl bass fishing if he can get Cheryl to call him. Okay. So I'm call you I there. said, why not? We'll just take off a day and we'll ride over to Chattahoochee and and get on a brim bed and and we'll, we really what i wanted to do uh, was to take the uh, rhino electric boats that i've got and i wanted to go over there and see how it ran in in lake seminole you know, they've got a lot of hydrilla and uh jody wells wanted me to come on he wanted me to bring it so i i took the boat over there and we left the dock and he took us right over there and put us on a brim bed and uh, I'm not going to tell you any more about the trip because it would, it would ruin it, but I'll tell you, they are biting. And if you want to have, go over there and catch some brim on a bed, you call old Jody Weld and give him a few dollars. He'll take you out there. He's not yeah. expensive. You'll enjoy Jody. You'll enjoy catching those fish. So let's take a break okay. and go to Lake Seminole. The Register Meat Company was founded over 71 years ago by Pappy Register. Register's premier product is their country-style sausage. It is 100% pure pork and hog casings with their secret seasonings. It's packaged in mild hot and I mean hot. Their sugar cure bacon is smoked for hours. And Register's premium hams are pumped with their special ham pump. If you're in the Cottondale area, stop by their country store and ask about their Pick 5 program and their veggie bushel. Look for Register's Meats at your local grocery. What do you expect to accomplish this year? Now, during Kubota's Great Expectations sales event, get a great deal on a Kubota BX Series, the top-selling subcompact tractor of the decade. With Kubota, expect versatility, expect performance-matched implements, expect value. Raise your expectations with the Kubota BX70 Series. Now, for zero down and 0% financing for up to 60 months. Kubota's Great Expectations sales event, April 16th through 20th at Soul Tractor. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors, along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA Lures, they are American made. DOA Lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at the ship store at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Everything you remember and so much more. Judy Wells standing over there. We up here in Georgia, Lake Seminole. <laughs> and Long ways to go from Lake County. It's pretty good ways up, pretty good drive up here. This is a beautiful place. Back on the electric boat. Yeah, we're back. Got the electric boat up here in Lake Seminole. We're gonna give it a shot up here. Judy Wells. I've come up here a long ways to get. Take a, catch a, a bluegill brim, but I tell you what, that fella right there knows he knows Lake Seminole. I've been fishing with him before, 
Now, Jody, I can't keep up with you if you open that thing up like the last time Kenny and I came up here and went fishing with you. You run that thing 60 miles an hour. Well, I heard the sound barrier break. We, we won't uh, <laughs> run that fast, but we're going this way. You're going that way? Yes, sir. Well, okay, well, now, I, can't, I, I cannot keep up with you, but uh, I catch you at the gas station, okay? That's old uh, Wayne Mitchell over there from Chipley, Florida. Wayne, you going to be fishing with us? He, Wayne gonna be fishing with us? Yes, sir. He's gonna be close. All right. Wayne, you help me keep this fella straight right here. Okay. And we headed out to beautiful, oh, but the beautiful Lake Seminole. Hit the motor. Let's go. Hit the motor, Kenny says. Let's go. All right. We might not be the fastest, but we're gonna be persistent about it. There goes our guide, right, Connor? There's going to be a speck on the horizon here in just another minute. Isn't it up? A pretty safe part we got here. It's all kept a deal out of the landing coming in. Alright, we fixed, we hit our spot. And so far, that's, that's the first of hopefully many to come right there. Fish on, Kenny Ray says. Trying to get around in bonnet. Yeah. Now the anchor rope. Yeah, that's a pretty one. I tell you what, you're going to have to, there where you are, you're going to have to swing around and add that sun for me to see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, ain't as big as the first one. Yeah. Like that one, bud. Yeah, another fish on. <laughs> That'll keep. Oh. Really, you got another one on his pole come apart, so. He's having to do him short handed style. Oh yeah. Fine, Brim. What you got, bud? I don't know if you need to film this. It's my secret weapon I got going on here. Couldn't get him to bite a cricket fast enough, so I just tied me a fly on it in my cork line here. Put it around this way. Yeah. A BB fly under a cork. On a brook off spinning reel. Now that's my real secret. Right oh, that's there. <laughs> All right. Kenny got another one on his fly. Fishing under I don't know what cord. you call. I don't know what you call that kind of rig. Okay. Go around this way so I can film him. Combination spinning reel, fly fishing. Fine, bro. You now, I got you on camera. I got you float right there, and your bug out there behind it. <laughs> you can see him. He'll come up under it right before he hits it. You can get ready. He won't do it when you're filming him. No, I have to turn the camera off. Give me on the side of the head. He just, <laughs> he come up there to look I'm at I'm going to hook me up, put me on the fly. <laughs> Good, just you. live. I've seen everything now, bud. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> that was a pretty brim. Is that right? You know, catch him on a, on a brim bed. I'm fishing <laughs> cricket. Kenny's fishing with a <laughs> BB fly. I wish you wouldn't laugh when I'm talking. I saw saw something hit one hit right there at that yeah. limb. That's your fly hit, yeah, bud. Left, yeah. Okay, let me get mine in then. We'll, this is fun. Lake Seminole. Pretty fish. I get it to quit spinning. Can you still fish with? Us? No, you got. You got your cricket on there now, or you fly, bud? Uh, I got one on each. Got, got one on each, fishing with a fly on one and a cricket on the other. About that one, bud. That's a fine, that's a fine red breaster there. <laughs> right over there by them four bonnets. Folks, y'all come up here and find them four bonnets. And you just sit here and catch these things off of these both of this beds. And I don't know how many more Kenry are going to want to clean to put in that, put in that box. <laughs> but you're going to have to clean them if you keep putting them in there. Stump knocker. That's the first stump knocker you call. Got a stump knocker. What do you use? Sitting on a brown bed catching a stump knocker. What you got? I throw back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you to I, I didn't want to film one more. Don't really want to film any more going in that box, but we got more than more we well, want to we'll clean go, we'll now. Go, we'll go Okay. Oh, oh, that is a fine red breaster. That's 
but it's push it right around here where I can no, no, away from the sun, I can see it. I got it been there. That's a fine red breast there, Kenny Bo. Had a big time. Seen some pretty well, country. I just hate you have to let that gator go in there. Folks right there, the fella you want to call if you want to come over here at Lake Seminole and get on a brim bed. Right now, it's the time to come, ain't it, Jody? Yes, sir. <laughs> the full moon will be on the 25th of May, the week before and the week after, and every month after now will be good. <laughs> I tell you what, Jody, you put us on, on one, and we surely enjoyed it. Appre I appreciate it, and I know you're going to want payback. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going catching a speckled trout. All right, we'll, I like that. We'll line you up. We're going to head her in, Joey. Don't come fish with Judy. He'll get you out there in a hurry, too. <laughs> Say it again. I like that little uh, uh, electric boat uh, motor with that 17 foot boat. It goes through the high drilling and, and the lily pads, and you can sneak up on these brim beds with that thing. Don't <laughs> yeah. even have to run your trolling motor. That's Just right. Just use the big motor. Yeah, it's got it's got its good it's got its good features. I, I guess the only bad feature is it don't it don't outrun everybody. But you don't need to be in a hurry anyway, do you, Joe? Well, usually when you're out here and come out from uh, the Chattahoochee Park, you don't have to go that far to find a brim bed anyway. Right. Well, all right. Well, thank you, lost, Jody. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for coming. Whether it's removing dangerous trees or planting new ones, Gulf Coast Tree Specialists can help you with all your tree care needs. Sometimes your tree problems are too big for you to handle. Even if it seems impossible to remove your tree, our licensed, bonded, and insured professionals can always find a way for a fair and reasonable price. We can also remove large and unusual items from your property. And our certified arborists can analyze root problems and evaluate structural issues. At Gulf Coast Tree Specialists, we would like to thank you for your continued support and service over the past 20 years and look forward to serving you in the future. Hi folks, I'm BJ with BJ's Marine. This has been a family owned and operated business for over 20 years. We pride ourselves in the sales and service of Nissan and Tahatsu outboards. At BJ's we have factory trained and authorized technicians for Nissan and Tahatsu. We also repair most any make or model outboard. Call or come by BJ's Marine Service at 1317 Transmitter Road and folks, we really do appreciate your business. Tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn steak and egg is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I dine out there. It's owned and operated by Linda and Willie Corn. They are the original and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Corn Heavenly Hat. Corn Steak and Egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. When you only have one shot, one chance, there are only two names to remember, Browning and C&G Sporting Goods. C&G carries the full line of Browning rifles, shotguns, handguns, knives, and clothing, like the Browning Expo. Every component of the Browning Expo works together to deliver the most critical feature, total accuracy. Visit C&G Sporting Goods today because you don't want to miss that one shot. Boy, I tell you, I missed out. I should have been out with you and Jody. You guys had a great day. You've got to go bass fishing with him, Cheryl. I do. I need to. Yeah. Hey, I got a, speaking of freshwater fishing, I've got a good report. This is from Matt Godwin. And Matt, he's a really neat fella. He has started an eco tour business up at the Dead Lakes. It's called Off the Map Expedition. So, you know, get your family together and go enjoy the Dead Lakes. I went up there with him one day and totally would have gotten lost if I wouldn't have had a guide with me. But it was great. There was eagles that were nesting that we got to see. Um, alligators, all kinds of great uh, wildlife up there at the Dead Lake. So go check out Off the Map Expeditions. Uh, but Matt told me that uh, that the, they're starting to catch brim on the fly rod in the Dead Lakes. And he says along the Apalachicola River in Weewa. And he said Jody Bidwell picked up this beautiful really hand-painted brim this, on a BD bug on the Dead Lakes. Please so that's a good a report while. from Matt Godwin. And speaking of the Dead Lakes, uh, Cheryl, let me tell you what this uh, Rhino Electric boat is designed. It's got a good purpose. People that like to fish places like Dead Lakes, Lake Seminole, uh, Deer Point Lake, uh, if you're going to do short trips on the river, 
it's not a long, it's not designed to go down and run 20 miles and go fishing. But I'll tell you what, you'll enjoy it. And it, it, it's probably the most efficient as far as it, it putting pollutants in the water. Mm -hmm. It does not. It's, it, it's environmentally safe. No, no uh, kind of emissions goes into the water. So you know, that's what it's designed for, yeah. fish, lake fishing. And uh, if you want to see this boat, I've got one at my house. If you will call me. I'd be glad to set up an appointment and let you, look, let you watch the boat. Call Joe Motor Service up there in, in Hartford, Alabama, and they can tell you all the particulars about it. Yeah. And we got, we got some uh, salt water fishing we're going to show this morning. Okay, yeah. You were fishing with Kenny Ray, right? Kenny Ray, he, yeah. always, he, he always puts on a good show. Now, I'll did he you. have a rod that wasn't broken this trip? Kenny fishes with a, with a rod that's broken off at the first eye. It, it broke off. He just... Just keep fishing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Harold Logan, he was a, he went on a trip with me. I believe it was a gift certificate. Anyway, you'll, you'll enjoy the trip. Let's take a break and we'll go for salt water fishing. Hey, my guest today, Harold Logan. <laughs> Harold, this is a trip, a gift certificate your wife bought you for Christmas? Yes, sir. Christmas present. And you? Looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it. Well, I'm, I'm glad you waited until after Christmas for got some decent weather to <laughs> take you to. Harold, it's beautiful this morning, a little bit foggy, the bay's slick, and we're going to give her a shot, see what we can do along this bank here in North Bay. Uh, Harold? You did a good job of netting that one for me. Now I want it once you get your rod, Harold. It fell off. Harold, that's a nice trout there, buddy. You better let me net them. <laughs> you back in the sun, I can't see you, but I can see you fish. Uh, Got another one on Harold. There ought to be another one right off over there. Let me get mine in. You get you get a bigger one. Yeah, that's kind of like to see you catch there, Harold. Pretty trout. Pretty trout. He's pretty. He bit the old chicken. He did. He bit the chicken. They like they like chicken today. Yeah, they do. That's what. Oh yeah. Yeah. Looks like a pretty good trout. Still biting the chicken there. I like the chicken though. <laughs> hey, I like chicken too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> got, a, got one on a white shrimp under the flute that time. Not the biggest one in the world, but he's trout. Another one on the chicken. That's a male trout. He's, he's one that can grunt. The female, she don't have anything to grunt with. I think the old male trout, that's where he, I guess he calls up his mate by grunting. I believe there would be another one right over there in that hole. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Yeah, he's a pretty fish. That's that chicken. Hey, he won't keep. Nah, he's 13. Not quite. I got him in there. Good trout. That's a good trout. That pretty one. Boy, you just get that. I just did. Let's get him in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> he spit it out. Spit it out. Brooks Bait and Tackle. We're located at 6910 Highway 22 in Callaway. We've expanded our saltwater tackle. DOAs, gulps, trout trailers, bomber king rigs. We've increased our zoom selection. We have over 
55 different brim poles to choose from. We have the biggest selection of H&H &H spinners in town. We have earthworms, red worms, green worms, and wigglers. We have live shrimp. We have ice by the scoop, by the bag, $1.25 a bag, 10 pound bag, $1.25 a bucket, or 25 cents a scoop. Most importantly, we offer non-ethanol gas. Brooks Bait and Tackle is your one-stop shop. Sunjammers and Hobie Kayak provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they need when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry, and the service and selection provided by Sunjammers Water Sports is top notch. So when it's time for you to go kayak fishing, there's only two names you need to remember, Sunjammers Water Sports and Hobie Kayaks. Sunjammers Water Sports is located on the west end of Panama City Beach and online at sunjammers.com. How many times have you heard the big ones are in shallow water or there are more squirrels than you can shake a stick at way up the river? But the problem is you can't get there with your propeller-driven outboard. Meet Joe Riley, Problem Solver, and the Tahatsu Jet Drive Outboard. With Tahatsu's Jet Drive, you can get where no man, or should I say, no outboard has ever been. With stick-steering-powered Tahatsu Jet Drive and a rhino boat, you can show your fishing and hunting buddies you mean business. See them at Joe's Motor Service, Hartford, Alabama, near Dothan. Him again. All right, Kenny Ray, get getting started. Look at what a trap! That's a pretty trap, bud. Fine trap. Fine trap. Good keeper. He didn't want to take much pictures of that trout. I told him to get the camera back out. <laughs> yeah. Now that's good. We'll catch another. Are you satisfied now? That nah, film? Not till I catch a few more of them. What now, you got good. on there? You got a red on there this time, bud. You got about a five-minute one. <laughs> You keep him away from the boat, maybe we'll land him. Greg said it was stiff. What did you loosen that just a little bit? You know, loosen him up a little bit. Greg, just you got your broke. That's a good red, I believe. You call that broke rod. ended rod. Well, you can give me some line now. Get that net up. I like how the net. You, you, you give it out of my way there. You just, you just, you just doing the fish. Huh? Yeah, we're going to play a while. Yeah. Yeah, you played. Uh, that's a fine red, but that's what you wanted to do. Kenny wanted to come over here and catch a red fish, so I told him the tide was right. We'd come over here, maybe we could. The only thing to top that off now is get a nice little mullet. We have a variety. <laughs> Sometimes we have to get a little mullet. I used to do that. I used to stomp the boat like this, and the fish get close, uh, get a big red on. I had a lady one morning said, the captain quit doing that, so every time you stomp the boat, he runs off. I said, that's what we want him to do. Round out here. Yeah, I just seen a flash. Yeah, I just saw, saw him flash up. He's trying to get up under the boat now. Under the boat he goes. There you get the net. I got the net. There's, the, there's the red the fish. fish. There is the red fish. Yeah. That's fine, there, sir. Do for the start. That's yeah, that's good. That's the second start. The second one. Catch another. He just was hooked, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he come out pretty easy. I don't like him like that. So you got a fish on. Yeah, I got, got a, a bowed rod. Here, yeah, that's fine, people. We on this side. You see it better. Yep, yeah, I see that's a good. Good piece of trout. Fish that bud. You got another red? He didn't act like it to me. Swing him all around. If you get him to come this way, I'll try to net him for you. He's got too close too fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a big old trout, what that is. Good That's a big old trout. Big gator trout. Right Goodness there. gracious. Woo! Buddy, can you hold him around out of the sun? <laughs> I can't get Come around that way with him. You get a better shot of him. Well, it's a pretty trout. Yeah. Open your that is a pretty. Now, Bud. That's what I almost even called him on today. <laughs> Hold it down here where I can see this rod first. I'll, then I'll look at your bait. No, yeah, don't show them a secret weapon. Now. <laughs> that bug won't one of them. I told them if I got a new pole. Okay, what, what'd you catch them on? I'm going to get a new pole. I'm going to break the tip off that. <laughs> on purpose. What kind of bait is that you got there? I might say the wrong one. You better tell them. <laughs> It's a, it's a fish catching Arkansas bait. Arkansas Glow Shad Tail. <laughs> I do. I remember that one. That's a, that's a fish bait, what kind of it is. They eat it. 
We've been fishing about an hour. Let's go to half. I got a mess of fish. Yeah, leave it to them. Panama City Gastroenterology specializes in colon cancer screening, gastroesophageal reflux disease, all aspects liver disease, and we do conduct clinical trials. We provide care in timely fashion using our extensive experience and are mindful of health care costs. Folks, if you're 50 years old and haven't had a colon off in the last five years, you need to give Doc a call. For the latest medical news, join us today on Facebook. Panama City Gastroenterology. Dependable, hardworking, words that describe our American workers and the steel equipment they build. Right now, pick up the FS90R trimmer for just $319.95. Plus, get a protective combo pack, complete with hearing and eye protection, absolutely free with your purchase. Steel, built in America, believing in America, number one in America. Visit steeldealers.com to find a dealer near you. Good old Bob says see and save on all steel equipment at Soul Tractor now. Hi, this is Nate with Mexico Beach Marina. Remember, we're a key dealer for Yamaha Outboards as well as a five-star certified service department. Dealer for Edgewater Power Boats. Our marina store still offers all your latest tackle, live bait, bulk ice, ethanol-free fuel, and slip rentals. And our beach store has everything you need for your day at the beach with Guy Harvey, Salt Life, Sperry, Top Sider, Hook and Tackle, Bimini Bay, and much more. You can check out our website at MexicoBeachMarina.com. Check out our Facebook page. So come on down to beautiful Mexico Beach and come on in and say hi. Hey Cheryl, I saw where you caught a nice speckled trout. On, yeah. Yeah, you had it on, on the Facebook? Right, yeah. For me, it was a nice speckled oh. trout. For you, it was probably average, but for me, it was good. It was actually 24 inches, and I caught I caught her um, standing up sight fishing out of the uh, Hobie Pro Angler 12, and caught her in about maybe a foot, foot and a half of water. She was laying right up against the shoreline. I was fishing for redfish, yeah. and she happened to be there, so that was a, a extra pleasant surprise. But Hey, oh, and speaking of people being in my fishing hole, guess who was in my fishing hole the other day, or our fishing hole? <laughs> who, who was it? I'll give you one guess. Uh, probably from Dothan, Alabama. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, probably Ronald Fuller. Yep, he was, and I thought it was you that scooted in there in front of me. I was in the kayak, and a boat scooted over there where I wanted to go to. And uh, that's who came out, so I gave him a hard time. But <laughs> check out this nice uh, trout he caught up in my fishing hole, but or our fishing hole. But uh, it was good to see him out on the water. He's such a great guy. And he caught that on a DOA. Um, he's been throwing that electric chicken, I believe. Yeah, he so likes, he he likes electric that. chicken. Yeah. Sure, we're going to give away some uh, uh, DOA baits. Okay. And, and we're out of time, aren't we? DOA baits are drawing so we'll name right, really, right really fast, fast. like. Out of the sweet state. Okay, and Ronnie Holmes. So, congratulations, Ronnie Holmes. Give us a call at 850 722 9382 so we can get you your DOA baits to you. And uh, if you want to join us, if you want to join us, the uh, sweet state, email us at outdoors at captainroy.com or call 850 722 9382. And we do got to go. Got to go. Uh, to you next Saturday at the same time and remember it always. Try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. Folks, it's time to wrap it up and go to the barn.